What's up, fellow journeyers? We've been living in an RV full time for six plus years. We've pretty much had this Walmart style Schwinn bike the entire time. We, after years of wondering whether or not it's worth the swap, we have finally broken down and said, you know what? We are going to get e-bikes. And we'll explain this whole video why we went that route and whether or not that's right for you. Got the box. Got the box. 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 What do you think, buddy? <laughs> he just got up from his nap. Did you notice his haircut? You want to just kind of trim it up and shape it up a little bit? And yeah. Can... He even said hi to himself in the mirror afterwards. He didn't even recognize himself. Did you? Who is that boy? Hi. We tried to keep some of the curl. I'm slowly going to let it go, but... It looks really cute. Wow. <laughs> it's a heavy battery, isn't it? That's a battery? <laughs> That's the battery. That is some legit battery power, man. Yeah, this is like a whole new world for us, so. Don't let Nathan fool you, though. I have heard him talking about these bikes for years. It's all he's talked about. I mean, I'm like a, you know, as soon as the newest iPhone, as soon as any new gadget's out, I'm like wanting to hop right on it. But for some reason, I don't know why, on the e-bikes, I was like, just wait, Nathan, just wait. Uh, and he's we waited. So I'm glad we did, because this is not the version one of the electric bikes. This is the version two. The amount of e-bike you can get for around a grand now, compared to four or five years ago, is just astounding what you get for the money. Uh, we were looking at the electric bikes, and then we also looked at rad bikes. Those are There were some other ones kind of on the radar, but honestly, those two were the main ones on the radar. Now, if you're like us and you're back and forth between rad and electric, um, I don't know that I would say either of them is a bad choice. I don't think you're going to make just a terrible decision by choosing one or the other. I think what might push me toward rad would be if just aesthetically you like the look of that bike better. If folding a bike is not a big deal to you while you still maintain the rack where you have the option of storage and your kid riding on it and all that kind of stuff. And then I think the third thing that Rad maybe has over electric, the batteries both last the same amount of time, but the battery is a 750 on the Rad versus only a 500 on electric. So if you want just some extra torque, some extra ump, I have ridden both bikes. I'm going to say that maybe there's a little bit more torque in that Rad than on like the electric, at least from what it felt like to me. But big picture... I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I don't need a lot of torque. <laughs> they both both batteries are gonna last just as long. Uh, the electric bike comes with that rack for the kids or for the storage with more flexibility also to fold if it needs to. It has, so the, the electric bike has more options as far as what it can do with the models we're looking at. Aesthetically, they both look great to me. It's not a big deal. And then really the icing on the cake, since we're comparing like on the rad bikes, the rad runner to the electric bike because those are the ones that are most comparable for what we wanted. The electric bikes were $300 less. As far as assembly so far, um, I think pretty much I'm just taking off the protective packaging is all I've done so far. <laughs> this is going to fold over. I bet it came with instructions. Do you think it came with instructions? I'm going to say yes. Why don't you get those instructions? I don't need instructions. This looks like it really wants to come up here somewhere. What is it about not wanting to get instructions? About? I don't. What is this in in men? That it feels. Don't? I think it just feels better when you get done if you didn't use the instructions. You feel like or you have to man. redo it because you didn't follow. No, no, no. That never happens. So it looks like this is gonna spin a rooney around. Okay. And then this is gonna lock like that. Uh, your seat's backwards. But other than that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know a lot. I'm about guessing seats. this isn't. <laughs> So this is the standard seat post and standard seat that comes out of the box, typically with electric bikes. And this is the upgraded comfort package with a suspension seat post and the giant seat that you can install on your electric bike. Oh, wow. I've never had a seat post with a suspension before. That is awesome. When you're buying e-bikes, there's a lot to consider. Uh, you've got the extra weight, you've got the extra size, you've got the fact that they're more expensive. You're gonna have to figure out a way to keep them locked up or keep them out of sight. So really, I wasn't ready to make the leap to the e-bikes until for us, we had our second kid, and there are definitely times we wanna go on these long bike rides. It helps with us, just me and Marissa as well, but these long bike rides with the kids. So that's where we didn't just stop with the e-bikes. We also considered the way for our family of four to ride on two e-bikes for long spans of time Whereas doing that normally would be, would be really tough 
to do um, with Hensley and JJ for long periods of time. So the first add-on we got was this burly seat. Uh, this is for JJ. This isn't from electric. This is all aftermarket stuff we bought to um, just be able to take our kids with us. This thing is very well designed. I haven't got JJ on here to try it out yet, but man. All you had to do is tighten that on there. I like it, man. That is cool. All right, one back down, one to go. So for my bike, the black bike, it's gonna be a little trickier as far as like getting the kid onto that bike because that one is for Hensley. So I'm gonna try to finish getting this bolted onto here. It's just an extra cushion. Electric doesn't make this, it's a third party, I'll link to it. Both bikes are assembled. Batteries are charged up, batteries are in the bikes. And we are going on a test run. Or in the RV world, uh, it's a shakedown trip, right? I don't wanna call it shake, that sounds dangerous with your kids. <laughs> we're, we're a main voyage, we're gonna do a main voyage with these bikes. Hey, Barefoot Bill, where'd you come from? Where are your shoes? Why do you have a pacifier? And what is on your hands? What? Hey, on your hands look. Yeah, your hand don't need to be dirty. Let me clean that off. Good grief, I turned around for like one second. Parks down the road. This is not a good long-term solution. You ready, Rod? You ready, they are so ready. So Hensley, you're on here. JJ, you're here. So this is a three-point harness. Okay. So right there, just attach there. Good, buddy? I like the height of this. She can actually get on and off of this by herself. So it's pretty cool. Like we went with two different bikes. So Marissa's is the step through, and this is the XP. In hindsight, I wish we kind of gotten the same bike for both. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know which one it, we'd like better. I don't have that answer, that's why we got one of each, and so we could share it with you guys. But then your batteries, the batteries are actually different sizes for each of these bikes. And you probably got maybe, maybe a couple other parts or things like that that are different too. So it'd be nice to have two bikes with the exact same parts, but I definitely like having different colors. All right, so the key's in. Once the key is in, push this button right here about one or two seconds to turn it on and then this so this is your pedal assist so if you want to just like ride the bike semi-normally um without the extra power from the bike you can do that so but if you do want some pedal assist we're gonna bump it up one and if you want to accelerate this won't work unless the pedal assist is on let me turn it off you're gonna twist this towards you like this okay. right here all right. all right let's go all right we're gonna turn our pedal assist off first it's on zero we're just gonna get a feel for the bikes you ready buddy let's go let's go you can enjoy the ride, that's pedal. right. I get to enjoy the ride like I'm, I'm riding it without pedaling. <laughs> so initial feel, the suspension seat's nice. I can feel it, and I can feel the suspension in the front too. The pedal assist on too. Pedal assist too! <laughs> or do one, maybe one. <laughs> that feels so luxurious before like I mean usually riding a bike can be kind of tough on you sometimes on on how it rides but this is so smooth I'm still getting a feel for like when we have pedal assist two one I mean you've also got in addition to that you've got you know seven gears here that you can customize too I mean you could just leave it somewhere like one or two or three or something like that yeah or if you want to work out you can put it on seven yeah use it like a regular bike or yeah. you start to get tired you I mean because that was definitely awesome and such a surprise for the I she, she yelled. yeah we're about to go through these woods I think I think it's paved we'll see Is that pretty look how it's reflecting off the water yeah I think I feel a tiny bit of guilt because this is so easy or it can be easy if you want it to be because <laughs> you see people sweating and working out but I mean I could work out I could change the gears to where it is a workout but I don't feel so guilty it's not awesome <laughs> Yeah, let's go to the right. Let's do the wood area. Let's do the red area. The red trail. What do I do? 
So we're still figuring out what we can and can't do on these bikes, what we're comfortable with. Like this turn was pretty sharp. That with any bike is sharp. Yeah, it is. And these are heavy. There's definitely an adjustment period. Let's see what happens here. I got momentum now. Oh. So we learned <laughs> you can do steep trails like this, at least for us, we're rookies. But it's such a heavy bike, having momentum is key. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Definitely something I could never do with her on the back of my bike with a regular bike. <laughs> What'd you think? That was glorious. <laughs> I think when I thought of like an electric bike, I just kind of thought it did all the work for you. I don't know, that's just kind of what I assumed. And I'm like, I enjoy riding a bike. I enjoyed the process of riding a bike. But I mean, I'm definitely like even sweating. You can do as little or as much as you like. And it was actually cool that we could be on different paces because if one, one gets tired, you can use the assist. And so it's almost like we can still continue to do things as a family, even when we're in at different paces. I think for me, the big thing, and the big thing is in this, the main reason we bought these, <laughs> I think there are definitely gonna be trails and areas and places we can go and do with these bikes we couldn't do, especially with the kids. Cause it definitely doesn't like take the kids bikes out of the equation. Like it's still important to us and to our kids that they continue to bike and they love to bike. The difference is <laughs> there are so many opportunities of places we wanna go, we wanna explore these national parks or amazing old railroad trail rides that we would love to do, but we're just on different paces as a family. I actually asked JJ, are you having fun? He's like, yeah, like he's having so much fun. It's just now it's an activity. We can do longer, different things as a family and just be in different places of our journey. As far as the bikes themselves, especially things that are new for the 2.0 version, they started putting more of these mounting points where you can, I know you can add like a basket on the front, even if you wanted to, so, you know, you can add one on the back if you want to, there's mounting points back there, but we didn't lose our storage. Uh, we could technically mount something on the front if we wanted to, or a, a beefed up light. I know they offer that as well. This now has like a variable oil suspension on the front. So it's way better shock absorption. If you're going through some trails or some things that are a little bit bumpier on them, for the tires on the 2.0, they went to three inch instead of four inch. So these are an inch smaller now. I haven't ridden this through sand yet or some really rough terrain. So as long as this three can go through that sand and rough terrain and still be okay, like I'm a fan of three instead of four. The handlebars are wider on the, this version instead of the 1.0. And then the entire bikes, they're IP65 water rated. So they're way more resistant to water if they're out in the elements uh, and that kind of thing on the 2.0 versus the 1.0. You guys saw me install this. This is an add-on, but uh, this suspension seat, this is awesome. <laughs> the comfort ride edition with the giant seat and the suspension here, like I could feel it for sure when you're riding this, the extra suspension. The grass is lava, the grass is lava. Whoo, okay, you made it, good job. One, two, it's lots of lava. The grass is lava, the grass is lava. It's lava, it's lava, it's lava. So this park is actually pretty special to us. Do you remember why? I do remember why. This is where when I was a kid, I would come and I would play on this playground. No, it's actually this playground wasn't here, it's like brand new, but <laughs> um, I do remember why. This is where we had our first date. The table, <laughs> the table's right down there. Uh, she was waiting on me at, on the phone with her sister debating whether or not she should still go through with the date. I found out later, um, so. That'd been a great first date to show up and she was just gone. I wasn't gonna I'm just sure with the text. Oh, yo, so you had a plan though. So her plan apparently no. was to tell me in person. This park is really special to us because this is like the first time we met to, to hang out and mm -hmm. we went for a walk around that she loop. She says hang out, I say date. <laughs> this is a hangout? Okay, I don't know what the difference is. Doesn't matter at this point, like we're married. Okay, so we went for a walk around the loop and we just went for a walk and we ended up walking like six miles of walking and talking. Same loop we just showed you guys with the bikes. Yeah, yeah we that so it's super like special crazy. to us. And we also, for our first wedding anniversary. Oh, we went out, we set up a picnic. And this is where we ate our cake. Got the cake that our did not one year anniversary taste cake. nearly as good the second time around. And cake we, uh, tastes good no matter what. We'll Old cake, new cake, I don't just <laughs> the floor is lava. Did you have fun riding the back of the bike? Yes. Why did you like it? Because I like feeling the wind in my hair and it was beautiful, romantic. I liked it. it was... <laughs>
beautiful and romantic. And you didn't even have to pedal, did you? Nope. Pretty awesome. <laughs> that is our journey for today. And ultimately that is a question we ask a lot. Will this purchase help me to have more journey in my life? And we feel like the e-bikes will do that. Uh, if you want more tips and tricks with RVing with kids, I'm gonna have a playlist of three videos of that. You can check that out. Until next time. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs> catch you guys later.